Hello, so this time around we have a new arrival. This came from Wham Bam Bed Systems. This is the Hotbox Mega. And I'm gonna get this out of the way because it's big. But here's what it looks like once you get it out of the box. Uh, it's got, uh, uh, it's insulated. It's got fireproof, uh, fire retardant uh, material on here. And it takes just a minute to zip it all together. So I talk a lot about safety, enclosures, two very good things. They contain the environment that you're printing in so you get better prints. And also fire safety and just safety in general, you know, you're not getting the uh, nanoparticles and the VOCs. So something like this has ports in it. So you can plug in an air filtration system like a BOFA uh, or whatever device you happen to be using. So I'm gonna demonstrate uh, how this goes together, how it will fit on a TAS 6, how it will fit on a 300 by 300 by 400. This is just a Arion, but there are so many generic 300 by 300, 400 printers out there. Um, there are Velcro covers on the top, so if you want to make use of your spool holder, this will stick right out the top and you can cover it back up. There are gaps so you can feed the filament. And this, you know, obviously there's ports for the uh, uh, power plug and other stuff, so <laughs> so much to talk about. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna get this thing together, put it on top of each printer, and I'll show you all the features. And yeah, I'll stop talking. Are you ready? Let's go. Hey, welcome back guys. Well, first of all, let me introduce myself. My name is Paul. This is my channel where nerdy is cool. I'm big into 3D printing. Uh, I, I, I upgrade printers, I review new ones, I do tweaks, upgrades. I've also got a full-size Luminar 2. Oh, uh, let's stop there. You get the gist. I'm a fairly nerdy guy. If you've never seen my channel before, and if you like my content, please go ahead and hit the button down below and subscribe. I don't want you to miss any of my cool videos. So this came from Wham Bam. Let me get this up here right now. Uh, this was sent to me free, so no money has been exchanged. They just said, here, try it, give us an honest review and let us know what you think. So that's what I'm doing. So this right here, this enclosure, just so you're aware, I'm gonna look at the website real quick in case my number's wrong. Nope, sells for $169. At the time of filming, uh, I have a coupon code, which is listed down in the description. So uh, at this time, you should be able to get 10% off. So that takes a little bit of money off the price of this. And as far as enclosures go, that is a phenomenal price. So let me go ahead. I have the second camera running. Let's get this guy uh, together. All right, I got, okay, it's you, and I'm starting from the wrong side, so let's go right here, there's the front, there's the zipper, there's one, and that's the one I want, and bring it down the back. I should have the clock going to make sure I'm getting this done on time. Okay, there's the zipper. Done. So there it is. <laughs> and I'll leave this here for the other camera to view for a moment. Um, it's pretty good size. I believe the dimensions, let me do a double check right now. I think I know uh, it is XYZ. 27 by 27 by 25 tall. So first, <laughs> let's get this up on top of the Taz. So, and there it is. So there are straps inside if you wanna do LED light strips. Uh, just to uh, give you an idea, I have these little openings in the top and I have a light over here one of my little portable LED lights that I use for videos. And let's go ahead and throw you in here just so you guys can get an idea that, hey, here's what it looks like when it's lit up. So now that I've done that, let me turn that down a little bit. So back here in the back corner that I'm pulling <laughs> this up for right now. Uh, all right, so we have an opening in the back here. And I have my Bofa 3D Print Pro, so I could easily stuff him in there. And of course, Bofa offers a couple of different uh, editions that you could 3D print. So if you wanted to have that uh, be longer or what have you, but 
yeah, it just <laughs> plugs in that easy. Now, I'm gonna get the, the bofa out of the way here, because it's big. I mean, you can improvise your own spool holder up here, but one of the things I like to use is I like to use these guys. These are the poly boxes. So you can easily set this guy up here. Like I said, I mean, it's got enough room. Set it wherever you want, or put it beside the enclosure if you want, and just use a bowden tube to feed the material into the lull spot. And again, I have all these Velcro panels to do all that. So you can move that around as you need. As a matter of fact, I'm gonna keep a couple of these tugged out. So when I put it on top of the other machine, it's ready to go. So, <laughs> now the low spot task can be a uh, difficult thing to find enclosures for. Uh, a lot of them, they put an enclosure in the front and the back, but it never really quite seals it up very great. Um, but this, I really, really like. Um, the other things I wanted you to be aware of is here on the side here, and in here are openings. So if you wanted to work in your, you know, any of your cords or filament feed, whatever, you could do that. Uh, the back also has an opening as well too. And on the other side, same thing, opening there, opening here. And let me get in front. And there you are. You can get inside the machine. They also have built in, this is one of the humidity temperature gauges as well. Uh, it takes the LR44 batteries, I believe, and mine came with them in the bag. So uh, they say on the website it doesn't include it, but mine did. So, hooray. Let's put you on top of the other. Doo -doo -doo. <laughs> Don't attempt to do this at home, kids. Ta-da. So what you can do with all of these, say you're feeding your filament straight down the back here. This is 2.85, which is wrong for the sprinter, but that's okay. So a filament could feed in here. What you could do is have it go through that little hole. And all you gotta do, using these Velcro pieces of material, just seal it up as you need. Okay, here's the business end. So let me give you, this is the front of the enclosure. That's where the uh, uh, clear, uh, clear spot comes down. And I wanna point out where the openings are, okay? So you have a here, 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 here. I mean, they're like little grommets. And that's where you can feed wires or if you wanna feed your ethernet or if you have an external control box, those cables can fit through here or on the other side, depending on how your printer set up. Uh, you can see here in the top, where those covers are, and of course, uh, one of those uh, Velcro pieces has the holes, so if you wanna feed your filament through that, you can do that. Um, in the back corner here, you probably can't see it super well, but as I demonstrated a little earlier, that is an opening where you could fit in a BOFA, your air filtration system. And there's also, the cloud comes with its own piece of Velcro, but in this case, they've already added that Velcro right here, and you could use the wham bam, the cloud. And this is a personal printer sentry, so essentially, this is a fire suppression device. Uh, if this thing uh, gets licked by the fire, it will ignite and explode, and it will dispense its powder, uh, which will put out the fire. And what they've done is they've already included the Velcro for that right in there. And if you're interested in that fire suppression device, that is $29 also on their website. So uh, we have these, like I said, these insulated panels. They're uh, they have some uh, fire retardant technology. I believe it's nylon added to them. So, I mean, for the price, it's a pretty full featured little enclosure. Well, that's it for this time. So what do you think? I mean, I think this is a very well-priced, it's got a lot of features and I mean, it's super compact as well too. So, I mean, if you don't need it, unzip it, put it away. And if you do need it, there it is. But I think for the price and all the flexibility it offers, plus, you know, the built-in, you know, the adapter spot for your uh, fume extractor and the Velcro in place for the uh, cloud, I think it's a great deal. Let me know what you think in the comment section down below. Also, check me out on social media. I'm on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. I'm always posting photos and videos of things I'm up to, so check those out.
All right, everybody, that's it for this time. I have lots of upgrades and, and reviews I'm working on, so hang in there for the next video. Thanks for watching, and remember, please print safe.